a little bit off the sports because I think that experience for me has really been extremely helpful for me as far as doing urban graphics, urban design, and I really love working on things that are out in the street, so to speak, because you're working directly with people, and my early work was exhibit work, and the one thing that was always frustrating is that, you know, you break your neck and do something and it works and then it's gone. The Olympics were kind of like that, but uh, that was a bit bigger than doing ex just exhibits. So when I had a chance to do work for a city and have a chance to do something that was going to last, that was a real challenge and I really, my work has been a lot of that ever since this program. Now this pro, I, this is not, I didn't do this, this is really old. This is an ancient map of uh, Mexico City, which initially was a lake and um, the Zocalo, or the city uh, square, is the center, and today it still is the center, and I took the square in developing a logo for the, um, for the metro. I cut into the square the three lines of the letter M, and the inauguration of the metro was going to include three lines, so it had that significance. The cars are all um, orange, so that has become or is the official color for the metro. Now this is where the cultural program really gave me a cue as far as being able to develop a system that wasn't just a, um, a service system so to speak but it was a system that could do other things uh, such as in this case identify the different stations on the metro uh, and in doing so I was able to go in and bring history to the surface, if you will, both ancient um, and things that are happening pretty much at this time as far as functional areas of the city. So this kind of gives you a good idea of, uh, these are actually from the first, uh, first line, and the, the, the icon of the metro with that rounded corner end uh, was very helpful as far as developing a, a form that could be put next to each other and develop a line map that was only the symbols and you can see this is the first line map uh, of the metro where the first line only was running. That's Pancho and Quinones, and uh, they were my assistants. And it was with those two guys, and this is the way we, walk, we work. We put everything on the wall at the uh, headquarters of the metro and just developed the uh, icons for the first three lines. We did the first three lines, and uh, there you can see the icons for the lines, and now they have 12 lines, and they carried on the system. It's, they've done a good job of de designing the icons. Some, some of them aren't that great, but some of mine aren't that great either, so it's pretty consistent <laughs> all the way through. <laughs> and now the three, three line map is, um, you know, and it's, you, can, you can pick up the city very, very quickly this way. It's a very quick graphic reference. And uh, I'm very proud of this. It works, and it's been around now for 48 years, and it's still working. And it works on signs uh, during the daytime, and at night it blends in in, in complicated environments and works well. Uh, that's Arturo Quinones. He, I used him as a model, and I, I did. Uh, <laughs> he's been going up and down stairs for 48 years in the metro. <laughs> <laughs> and I developed a typography that was based on, the, on the, uh, the icon, the letter, the M logo. And this was an interesting discovery. Uh, you'd think that you'd want to compress letters, uh, condense them, to get more letters on, a, on a, uh, a panel. And actually when you're looking at that panel from the side view, you can't read it when you, when you have condensed letters. So what I tried to do was develop a, uh, a typography that was architectural. It has nothing to do with all the studies that have been made on what's legible and what's not legible, so I don't show this to anybody in, in, as far as that goes. But it's legible. It's, it's worked for all these years, and um, I don't know why it's legible, given all the data that, uh, you know, uppercase, lowercase, and all of that. It's all uppercase. I tried to get rid of uh, a lot of the things that... Uh, were difference between upper and lower case, uh, like the N, for example. And it works. And like I said, I wanted to make it architectural. I wanted to keep it within the limitations of what we had for uh, sign bands. 
and let it uh, occupy the full space. That was then, this is now, this is 48 years later, still doing it.